my New Year's resolution is to stop doing these intros. Welcome to Wired and Witty's podcast. All right, welcome to uh, another episode of our podcast on um, Wired. Witty. And everything else. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so the New Year's are upon us. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I have a lot of things I, a lot of plans for the new year and uh i think it, i think it's going to be an interesting year hopefully hopefully a good one hopefully um but before i actually start one thing i want to start doing with these podcasts hopefully get them a little more popular or going uh either way i think it's necessary is i want to do kind of like a shout out of the week yeah. like and this is we're gonna shout out other youtuber channels and um and basically if you feel like you you deserve or want a, a shout out, make sure you leave some comments below, and uh, and and we'll we'll not necessarily randomly select, but we'll go through and select a channel that deserves some recognition. And uh, I think we already have a shout out of the week uh, in mind, don't we, Sasha? Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> and, and and who are we going with? Uh, our our good our good pal Broccoli Rob. Broccoli Rob. Yeah. R A H B. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll put a link in mm-hmm. the description below to his channel. Uh, he seems like a really, really nice guy. Yeah, and he is. uh, you know, he's one of the guys that kinda watch our stuff and and we'll we we'll, like I said, we're gonna do a shout out of the week. So if you didn't get called out this week, there's a good chance you may get called out next week. Um, but uh, yeah, what's he currently uh, playing right now? Uh, currently he's playing uh, the Sick of Truth. Oh, nice. I love yeah. that game. Yeah, I mean, that's one of your favorites. Oh, and Pillars of Eternity. I've never um, heard of that. Uh, it's, it's a good game. Okay. I you know. <clears throat> no, he was playing uh, Bioshock Infinite. He finished that, actually. And um, I know we talk from time to time on Twitter, and uh, he's just a really cool guy. Like, I did a, mm. the Overwatch thing with him, and um, we have a lot of things in common, and I, know, I think his channel should, you know, should get more views. He's... You know, he's a, he plays really good games. Um, he's not, you know, too in your face. If you're looking for a nice, calm playthrough, mm-hmm. that's, that's your guy. He does uh, mostly uh. JRPGs and puzzles and platformers, but... And nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah we, we play there. just about anything under the sun, yeah. so uh, if you guys uh, don't mind, go over to his channel, check out some of his videos, and if you like him, make sure you leave a subscription Yeah, and let, uh, and let him know that, that Wired and Witty sent you. <laughs> so, no, yeah, I think this will be a good way of like kind of building the community in a way for um, smaller as well as, I mean, we may eventually shout out some of the well-known ones, but how I find out about new stuff a lot of the time is word of mouth. Yeah. Um, you know, just talking to my friends and, and just having conversation and they'll say, Hey, have you ever seen this? No, I haven't. And then I'll go check it out. Oh, okay. This is great. So, I mean, it's just one of those things we're trying to do. So, uh, yeah. So that's 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 our shout out of the week, and again, we're gonna try doing that every week on our podcast uh, to try to help out your guys' channel as well as just uh, show you some love that you guys are showing us. So, yeah. Um, on to kind of like I guess the big news of well of of recent is is Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, passed away at age sixty. Uh, if you guys yeah. aren't familiar who that is, who who is it? Uh, I'm sure there are people, but that's uh, that's the actress that played Princess Leia in the uh, Star Wars movies. She's also done a quite a bu- bunch of stuff with like regarding charities and and um, foundations like that. I heard she was like a very strong voice in that. So either way, she's gonna be greatly missed. And 27 or 2016 got definitely a, yeah, a bad right. rap for being like the death year or something yeah. like that for a, a lot of. Well-known actors, actresses, magi- um, magicians, magicians. <laughs> musicians, <laughs> things like that. Um, <clears throat> oh man, I, I'm blanking on the guy's name. I'm trying to get my computer up, but I was going through a list of like a lot of people who passed away yeah. this year, and you know, like there was actually a lot that didn't get a, a enough recognition. I don't think. But let me let me look at this uh, this guy up. But what are your thoughts on the Carrie Fisher thing? Well, you know, I I grew up on on those movies, and for me, Carrie Fisher, it, like her whole her whole the character of Princess Leia, that whole thing, and it's important 
you know, when you're growing up uh, to see, and you're a girl, and you know, you're you, you're used to seeing how most female characters are portrayed, and you know that that character either to be due to her or or George Lucas, you know, I, it was nice to see a female character that didn't need saving, and she, you know, she was smart. She was, you know, she was the planner. She was, you know, ballsy, and. You know, she didn't put up with Han Solo shit. <laughs> and I love that. And, you know, it, it's it's good to have something like that to look up to. And she was a huge, you know, advocate for, uh, you know, mental health and, um, you know, um, <clears throat> rec- and recovery from, you know, whatever vices that she may have had. And then her mother, Debbie Reynolds, a day after, died. Oh wow! And, yeah, just after. I mean, you could you could only imagine it, it was something with the heart. <clears throat> so everyone's saying it's broken heart disease. <clears throat> but her mother, Debbie, like uh, I remember, I used to watch um, TCM with my mom on Sunday mornings, and we watched Singing in the Rain. And like, even when I got older, and she was on Roseanne, I fucking, fucking loved her. Uh, and you know, the worst thing that could happen to a parent is to lose their child mm-hmm. you know you should never have to bury your kid and mm-hmm. she just couldn't take it she just couldn't take it and a day later she died i had no idea about that that's crazy. really no i didn't hear oh about yeah that. dude everyone like i was at work and you know uh, my manager came up to me he's like do you know debbie reynolds died and i was like excuse me and like i literally put my customer on hold i'm like you come to my desk can you bring this shit and he's like no i'm serious <laughs> like she died everyone's saying she, it was broken heart disease everyone's like she had a stroke she was complaining about chest pains, and and she passed. And it's it's, it's the saddest thing, because you know they're both you know huge huge Hollywood figures, and it's just like the what the week before George Michael died. So it's like what the fuck, 2016? Like you're like we're on like the 30th right now. All right. As we're talking, like what the fuck? Be one more within the next couple of days. Uh, they say it always comes in threes. So you um, think like Debbie, Carrie, and George, George, Ruth, yeah. probably, yeah. Okay, well, stop dying, people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, everybody's gonna die at one point, but that's, yeah. I had no idea that her mom passed away. Yeah. Um, a day later, that's crazy. So yeah, that's sad, man. Heart attacks and all that stuff. Um, one that 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 I hated to lose was Alan Rickman. That, that, oh God. And that was like shortly after the the new year. Yeah, that was in uh January. 14th. Yeah. Yeah, that was I think it was like the day like literally the day after, wasn't it? No, it was it was January fourteenth. The fourteenth? Oh okay. Yeah, so two weeks into the new year. Like what the fuck? And then Yo. Bowie? Yeah, David Bowie. There was a lot. One that I was, as I was like I mentioned earlier, I was going through the list. Like have you ever uh watched Martin? Yeah. You remember the uh, actor on there, Tommy? Yeah, or, he died. Yeah, he yeah, died. He yeah, he died, Tommy Ford. I had no idea until I was like clicking through that list. Yeah, he passed away back in October. Man. It's crazy whenever um like some of the people that you kind of watched growing up. Yeah, I mean, I used to watch that show all the time. I oh, yeah. Look. Martin was great. <laughs> Martin was funny as hell. What was, what was that character's name that he played with the girl Shanae-nay. that he hated? Shanae. Shanae. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, Martin like, looked good in drag. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I always used to love yeah. when he would, like, do that keep thing, the like, mustache. Like, keep... Yeah, he'd keep the mustache. <laughs> and he'd always, like, be cleaning his teeth. Like, <laughs> he was just like, oh, my God, it was great. <laughs> uh, but that that's all I have to talk about for the, the deaths. It's unfortunate. But yeah, I figured it'd be something that we obviously well, we have, have to, to discuss. And... Like, we have to do that. That's... What's that? You have to acknowledge Carrie Fisher. You have to. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I think it's a good transition to try to get, be less depressing and mopey and go on to something probably humorous and entertaining being our new year's resolutions. Uh, let me go quiet the dog one moment. Yeah. There's one. <laughs> it's like they're quiet up until we want to record. I know. And they're, they're all they're like, they're Hey, they're I want to be heard fine this entire time until. The mic I think it's because your your dog and my dog are playing. And yeah, then, he doesn't like it. Then he needs to be the fun police. Yeah. So uh, I think I think this will be kind of funny. Let's go on with our New Year's resolutions. You know, like case studies show actually though that out of all the New Year's resolutions, about eight percent of them are kept. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Um, you know, but there are some tips for setting resolutions, like obviously uh, set resolutions that are um, obtainable. And I think I've done that for for some of the ones that I have in mind. Well, how about you? Probably, probably none of mine are attainable. I, I highly doubt it. I mean, I do this every year, and it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's I just get on with it. <laughs> This is a year of disappointment that I'm going to give myself. <laughs> well, I think my first one's going to be pretty easy to keep. So you want me to start or do you yeah, want to start? Yeah, you, okay. you start. So the first one I want to keep is obviously keep doing this channel. I yeah. mean, I've been keeping up with it pretty good, and um, I want to just keep making videos, and hopefully, like, I'd like to be, like I said, at least at 1,000 subscribers next year, or at least, like, later in the year. But, mm -hmm. uh, again, I'm not going to be disappointed if we're not. But, uh, yeah, no, I just keep plucking away at the channel, keep doing cool videos, get better at my video editing, and all that good stuff. So that's, that's I, and I obviously think that goes along, well, probably aligns with one of your resolutions, just keep plucking away at the channel and having yeah. fun. Because I, I enjoy having and doing this channel and, and these videos, so if others like watching them, cool. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. I mean, that's pretty much... What of mine, you know, don't, don't give up on it. <laughs> Usually I give up on things a lot. You know, I talk about it a lot. The Tomb Raider playthrough, you know, I like, I I start things and then I never finish them. And like, that's one of my resolutions is to, you know, finish something that I've, I've, I've started. So, you know, it's. I don't think this will necessarily have a definitive no, finish per se. Like, yeah, I mean, you never know. It may come a day where. Oh my God, we, we're crazy. not able to do the channel anymore, and that'll be basically the end of it. But uh, or at least maybe a break. Yeah. Um. But uh, no, I just want to keep doing the channel, keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, just follow through. I mean, like, I came up with the idea when I lost my job, and like that was like the most horrible, horrible moment of my entire life, and I needed something that was going to distract me. And I had mulled over it for a couple of days, and I was almost afraid to ask you to do this with me because I was like, he's already got the Moto vlog, and yeah, that's another probably, one of my resolutions. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna like you know be too pressed for time, and yeah, you you came on board, and you know you you're great about it, and you know you, you I don't know, it's uh, great. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and that goes in line with another one of my resolutions is to start doing more moto vlogging videos. I, like I said, I just recently posted one a couple of weeks back when I went to go do the ice sculpture thing. It wasn't necessarily a moto vlog, but uh, I, I think of my moto vlog more as also kind of a scrapbook of just shit I go out and do and then I capture it. So it's not, it, I, I prefer going out and doing it on the bike, sure, but if I'm not because of other circumstances, weather or just like and then my like the ice the ice thing was just because like we were meeting a bunch of people so we kind of carpooled out there yeah so it was like well we obviously can only fit one other person on the back of the bike but i still yeah. want to record it so i did and um you know it's just i i have fun editing those type of videos when i'm out and about and i want to keep doing those things so i'm definitely going to reevaluate that and start doing more more of those videos is another one of my resolutions. Uh, I want to ideally, I want to try to do one a week. It's probably not going to happen, but at least one every other week, I think is is plausible and very doable. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a, a lot of times we have to dedicate a whole day for this, and that would be like a day I would need to go out and do stuff like that. But I'm I'm going to still find time. I yeah. think I can manage. Well, anyways, I'll list off already two of my fucking resolutions. What about you? You name one of your resolutions. I think it's a common one. Uh oh, here we no, go. Lose weight. <laughs> Actually, okay. I do. I have to because fact, I've got two friends that are getting married. Not two friends that are getting married to each other. Well, I mean, yes, they are. They are friends. <laughs> but um, two couples uh, that are getting married. Um, uh, I I anticipate either at this year or the next. So I need to. I gotta lose weight. Well, in case you ever, <laughs> ever, ever hear this or, or watch it, uh, congratulations to Trey and Brianna as well as David and yes. Tiffany. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. All right. Two, the, the two most wonderful couples in the world. Oh, yeah, they're I awesome. I love them. Both of them are, <laughs> well, those crazy kids. are great. <laughs> <laughs> um, which actually is kind of one of my resolutions. It, yes, it is to kind of lose weight, but more of my resolution, though, like I said, a set smaller obtainable goals, goals is to go to the gym frequently like mm -hmm. i'm gonna set a schedule to where i'm going to the gym three to possibly four times a week 
you know, for like at least an hour, maybe hour and a half each. They are actually installing some really new equipment at the gym. Yeah. Yeah, like they have this whole machine that has like monkey bars and stuff like that. It looks fun. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's actually my goal is like if I actually, instead of saying, all right, I want to get down to said weight, which I've usually done in previous years, and I get close, but then I give up at some point. Instead of doing that, I just want to, my resolution is to get to the gym, you know, like I said, three days out of the week. And if I get to the gym, I'm obviously going to work out. It's just getting there. That's yeah. that's the that's the struggle. So that's that's kind of my resolution is just set a schedule of going to the gym. I work ten hour days, so it's kind of tough sometimes to get out to the gym during the work week. Yeah, but I'm still going to make it a point to to you know okay Monday this and then um, you know go back Wednesday or something like that, then Thursday or so, something. I haven't quite figured it out, but I'm going to within the next day or two. And um, yeah. So I, I do kind of want to lose weight, but I want to do that instead of just saying I want to lose weight, I want to go to the gym. I just want to lose weight. It's like I, my friend's a nutritionist, and you know, she's like, it's 80% diet. You know, if you can do that, then you know you can do the gym after. And I was like, she's like, that's the biggest, it's the biggest hurdle to get over is eating habits. If you can get over that, then you can deal with getting to the gym. I know one thing mm-hmm. it is, is is soda. I do kind of consume a decent oh, yeah, amount. I gotta so stop drinking yeah, soda. I'm going to stop. I might, cause I don't really consume other caffeine type things. And I like caffeine. Uh, I may either start drinking a little bit of coffee or at least like go to some diet soda for at least a little bit. But I want to, uh, ideally consume a lot more water and maybe like yeah. instead of soda, like do like a fruit juice. I know it still is high in sh- uh, sugar, sugar and things yeah. like that, but if I do like an all natural, it's at least better in my opinion than drinking straight up fucking soda. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of one of my resolutions as well. So I'm glad that aligned with with one of yours. And um, uh, I know, like, like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Diet is everything. Because if we were to like stop drinking soda now and just like go straight drinking water, we probably lose like a good 30, 40 pounds within like the next few months. You know, just from changing yeah. that, which is crazy. So that's good. And uh, but you know, working out obviously does help because uh, I also you know want to try to live a little long, and you know, exercise really helps. You know, move blood and you know, <laughs> and uh, muscle and all that stuff. And I like I like working. I actually do. It's just a matter of like, fuck. I want to have to get up to the gym, and it's more of like uh, I have to spend all this time. But once I'm there, I'm like cool. It's just like. It's like it's that block. I don't know what it is yeah. sometimes. I know. What's another one of your resolutions, Sasha? I want to get better at accents. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting one. I like it. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not great, but I'm okay. Like, I really want to get, like, just get really good at accents. Like, just That's like a... the proper way. Okay, well, that's yeah. actually really interesting. I'm terrible with a lot of accents. I mean, I'm, I have, like, a couple I'm good with, but, like, I, I can, like, as soon as I try to say certain things, the accent breaks down. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I want. I want to learn how to, how to, how to properly enunciate in certain, certain uh, accents. Because, you know, it's... Year, years ago, I wanted to do the Mel Gibson thing, like move out to Australia for a few years and then pick up the accent and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not Australian? No, hell no, he's not. He moved Are you out. serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. He he's wasn't. not Australian? No. No, fucking, hold on. <laughs> no. I don't, no. <laughs> oh. While she looks it up, kind of going back to the weight loss thing, though, because one of my other resolutions, this is going to sound really. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. He's born in New York? <laughs> yeah. He, he lived out in Australia for a while, and that's how he got the accent. Dude, you just fucking shattered my world. I I had no idea. <laughs> I thought he was Australian. No, no, he likes to think of himself as one, but he's not. I mean, what? he's at least not natively. He lived out there for for a considerable period of time. He was twelve. He moved out there. He was twelve. And but then he picked up the still, accent. Jesus, are you kidding me? Look, I li- I li- I moved out to Jamaica when I was like nine. Well, even then, when I was like five, and as soon as I got back here. I was like, fuck, I'm not, I'm not going to have that accent anymore. Kids are cruel. <laughs> One of my brothers I haven't seen in a while, he moved to Georgia, and he talked pretty, like, I, I wouldn't say, he didn't, he didn't talk Southern before. Talking him, while, talking him to her on the phone is like I'm talking to, like, somebody <laughs> named Billy Bob. It's great. <laughs> he, he's really Southern twang now, his voice now. He's got a good Southern accent. He, he likes 
potatoes and <laughs> oh, man, he, it is bad. It's like I can't even do it th- that well because he is he is super southern twang now. It's crazy. Do you think we have an accent? I don't think we have an accent. Uh, like some people, uh, whenever I meet with clients and things yeah. like that, they're like, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, "Well, I mean, that's uh, always a difficult question for me to answer because I was I moved around quite a bit." Um, so they're all like, you know, and, and when I mentioned, well, I, I lived in here for a while here and I mentioned Michigan, they're like, I thought that sounded familiar. You sound like, you like somebody up North a little bit, but you got a little Southern yeah. in my voice as well. So it's kind of a mixture. It's like, I'm, I'm a mutt <laughs> between <laughs> well, the North was, and the South. I was talking to a customer on the phone and she was a, a linguist and she was like, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm interrupting your train of thought. But no, you're good. Um, I'm responding to a text message. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> That's oh, okay. what she was saying to me. Because <laughs> mm. I was, like, working on her stuff, and she was like, oh, you sound like you're from New York. And I was like, well, I was born there. And she was like, well, um, more along, like, the Long Island? And I was like, witch. <laughs> <laughs> you're a witch. <laughs> like, how the fuck do you know that? And I, I don't think that I have an accent. I really don't. And we, I was just shooting well, shit with her, like, the entire time. Whether we like to think about it or not, we have an American accent. I mean, yeah. we don't, it may not be completely Southern, but oh. we, we do have, like, an accent to us. Um, like, my mom doesn't think that she has an accent. and She definitely oh, has she, an Oh, she does. Yeah. I hate, to, I hate to break it down to her, but yeah. she does have an accent. <laughs> she has an accent. I mean, we all kind of, when you break it down, we all have an accent. Uh, yeah, Ours is just an so. American accent. And, uh, you know, I, I have... I, I at least think we we appropriately enunciate our words. At least um, when we're when we're serious, when we're joking around, saying <laughs> "so, dude, so, dude," we're we're being goofy and shit like that. But you know, we're we at least enunciate, which is nice. <laughs> I yeah. I can't stand talking to people that like sound like they have a fucking dick in their mouth or marbles in their mouth that they can't even fucking talk right. It's, it's like mush mouth. Yeah, mush mouth. Like enunciate, fucker. <laughs> I don't understand. It's it, it's become like cool now to talk like you're fucking stupid, and I don't mm, like that. No. So, um, another one of my resolutions that's going to sound weird, but it kind of goes along along the lines of the whole weight loss thing, mm-hmm. is I want to stop going to places with drive-throughs. And I know oh. that sounds stupid because no, that's not stupid because like yeah sure if you go to McDonald's you can get the fucking salads and shit like that whatever <laughs> blah blah blah. Salads, I get it, but I mean well, you're gonna be tempted to get the fattening bullshit. <laughs> It's, it's fucking human nature. You know what? I will get the salad, but you know what? I'm going to get the apple I'm pies. I'm going to sprinkle a McDouble on it. <laughs> or, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop up a McChicken inside of it. So, you know, I want to avoid going to places with drive throughs If I'm going to go out to eat, I want to do things where I actually I have to go in and get my food or go and sit down and get my food. That way I have an actual menu and I can kind of pick things like that. Like one of the things I probably start eating a little bit more of, and I know it's not the most completely healthy thing, but in my opinion, if you do it right, it's not bad. It's Chipotle. Um, just yeah, if because, you do it right. If you do it right, you know, like I said, like I'm gonna get the lettuce and the cheese. Well, not mm-hmm. well, the, I know cheese is not the most healthy, but I'm gonna add the greens to it and and maybe maybe just a little bit of rice. But you get the protein from the meat and the beans. You get the, your veg from like the lettuce and things like that. So it, there are worse things out there, I think, to eat. No, um, I mean, there's of course, like I mean, it's, I don't work there anymore, so I can just say it. I used to work there, and for an entire summer, I only ate. Because we got free food. I only ate lettuce, fajitas, cheese, and meat. And some of the salsa, some of the tomato salsa that they do. Mm-hmm. And I lost 20 pounds. Nice. In two months. Yeah. I, again, there's worse things out there. I don't think it's like the most healthy thing out there. But like I said, compared to going and getting a fucking burger or, or sandwich, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good way because rice is, a, is more of a healthy carb. Than, than let's say bread and shit like that. So I mean, I guess I mean I don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not a nutritionist. I mean, so. either, but just from the shit I read and like <laughs> like looking up to like what Dwayne Johnson does, like he obviously like he he limits his carb intake to certain types of carbs, and apparently like there's good carbs and bad carbs, mm-hmm. or at least like I guess you could say more unhealthy carbs that are gonna kind of stick to you a little more. Um, so yeah, I want to actually stop going to drive throughs or at least play, even even if I'm like, "Oh, I'm just going to go to McDonald's, but I'm going to go inside and get my, no. Like if they no. have a drive-through, I'm not going." Yeah. Uh, you know, so I want to try to do that. I know. It's a good idea. Yeah. It's it's crazy, but no. uh, another one of my resolutions is 
to try to kick the habit of smoking. Okay, well. Again, I know <laughs> it, it's it's tough, and I know a lot of people, like, it, it's actually kind of cool that, like, I guess this generation isn't really heavy into smoking, which is cool. Like, the the new generation, I should say. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it sucks that I started many years ago, and I've quit a couple times unsuccessfully. And um, one thing I want to get back into doing, at least in the meantime, until I can finally forever kick the habit, is go back to vaping. And I know vaping's <laughs> vaping's not healthy, all that. But when I went to straight up vaping for about a good six months, I could breathe. The actual mm-hmm. cigarette smoke bothered me. And even then, by the end of it, I wasn't really vaping all that much. Like I wouldn't sit around and vape all freaking day. It's just a really, it, it, it's, it, yeah, it still has some nicotine in it, so that leads to bad things, but it's a healthy alternative, or healthier alternative, and I want to get back into that, but I kind of, um, I, I have a plan to try to keep myself honest with it, because the problem with vaping is once your vaporizer breaks, yeah, you get, all of a sudden get stir-crazy, and you don't have anything to smoke, and then... Before you know it, you're asking your buddy or going up to the store, you know, I'm just going to get the one pack yeah. until my, my shit's fixed. Instead, what I want to do is get a backup. Uh, so in case if something <laughs> does happen, I'll have a backup stored away in my closet or hidden away somewhere safe to where if I do have pro- some sort of problem, I can go to my backup until I go get my, my primary one fixed and try to keep myself more honest that way and then eventually stop vaping altogether. Um, we'll see. But I, I'm, I'm, I want to try to do that um, just because, yeah, smoking does have a lot of bad side effects. And I, I have a feeling that's going to – if I don't stop soon, it's going to be the end of me before I know it. And I don't, want, mm-hmm. I don't, like, I don't like thinking like that. So, uh, you know, so I want to kick it soon. Yeah, I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. I just If I'm, if I'm going to lose weight, like – I that, like that's yeah, it's already a, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So and like I'm I I'm a highly irritable person when I do, <laughs> like I like if I don't I call it the demon coming out because I like get fucking I get super easily annoyed. Yeah. And I just don't want. I'd rather keep that in check. No. And and vaping uh isn't always the greatest replacement smoke because no, it's a different draw. Yeah. It's a different feeling. Yeah. It's nowhere near the same as smoking a cigarette. But it is a it is like I said a healthier alternative, and I've done it before, and I know I can do it again. Uh, it's one of those things that would like as soon as like midnight stop like strokes, I'm not gonna like all right, no more cigarettes. Like <laughs> yeah. that's not it. But I'm, I'm I'm thinking like <laughs> by the time I get my tax return, if not before, I'd like to already have a, a vaporizer, and with my tax return, go get a second one, just in case I have problems, and probably do, you know, and I'm gonna connect with my buddy Travis who does just vape. And the only time he smokes a cigarette is, like, whenever, like, I'm around or Mark's around, he'll, like, have one or two. And then he – that's that's it. Like, and that'll be his, like, one or two for the month or whatever. And same one, like, uh, hang out with my buddy David. David – you never know David. Yeah. Uh, so – not the one that's getting married to different David. No, but, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, when he, when we go out to watch the fights, he, he bum smokes up in here. Sometimes he'll bring a pack. Yeah. He'll, like, buy a pack because he, like, doesn't, like, bum it off me. It's like, dude, it's fine. I always come prepared because I know you're going to bum off yeah, me. Yeah, but then he good. won't smoke for the rest right. of the time. That's it. Like that's all. That's like his time to smoke, and then that's it. There like, are there that's are people cool. like that. Like, yeah, and and I, I respect I that. that. I wish, yeah. if anything, I, would, I, I wish I could that. be like that because <laughs> uh, I remember like whenever I got I got sick one time, not not off of smoking. It was just like yeah. fucking. I got like sick, like flu or whatever the hell, and I completely lost interest in smoking. Oh, yeah. And and I I stopped, and I and I literally quit for about a good three months, and then one bad day. Yeah, like, I wasn't even vaping or anything. Day. I wasn't vaping or anything. <laughs> one bad day. And then, you know, like, give me a cigarette. And that's all it took for me to get back into smoking. Yeah. So I don't think I could ever be that person as just, you know, I'm just going to smoke tonight. Because yeah. before you know it, I'm just going to want to do it again. So, um, yeah, those are, those are social smokers. I smoke because I get stressed out. And I used to do other things to de stress. And those things are very, very, very bad for me. So I used, <laughs> I used smoking to, okay. to curve that. And, um, I mean, it wasn't the best thing at the time but it was like i was like on the verge of like having to go to rehab and it was like i need something to to occupy this with well because i because i you know, i'm a very prideful person i'm not gonna go to rehab i don't want everyone to know that i'm going to like <laughs> at the time so i just started smoking and it helped and you know now i rely on that and it's like a whole mental thing i know that's cool. Um, but, like, yeah, you like, know, I eventually do plan to quit, just not when I'm trying to lose weight, because that's the most important thing this year. 
He's like, if I can lose, if I lose the weight and then I can keep that off, then I know that I can, I could quit smoking after that. Okay. No, that's smart. Like I said, I want to at least go back to full vaping and I at least have a plan and I have another plan to keep myself honest with vaping is, 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 you know, when I first get the vaporizer and everything like that, I'm not gonna, um, I'm still gonna have to like, well, not necessarily have to, but I'm probably still gonna smoke cigarettes, but to keep myself honest is I'm not gonna bring cigarettes with me to work. I'm just going to bring the vapor with me. Mm -hmm. So whenever I get home, I can have a cigarette or two and be done with with that for the day until I don't feel like I need to smoke cigarettes anymore or or have the urge to. It's a really tough thing to do. I mean, I mean, like I know a lot of non-smokers really look down at smokers. Um, but it, it is seriously a really, it, it almost becomes a part of your DNA yeah. whenever you're like doing certain things. It's like, oh yeah, I like to light up a cigarette with this, you know, like when we're out drinking with our friends and oh, socializing, yeah. it's like, it almost goes fucking hand like, in hand. yeah, it goes hand in hand. Like, oh man, I want to get that cigarette too. And it just, I don't know. It just becomes really second nature and it's a very tough habit to break. So, um, you know, uh, the worst thing a non-smoker can do is come up to a smoker and just tell them, eh, you know, it's bad for you, or, like, preach them, like, I had so-and-so <laughs> die because of lung cancer and all that. We get it. Yeah, it's get bad. It. Yeah, we get it. My it's one of those died things. died cancer. Like, I get it. Yeah. Like, we I know it's bad. We have to kind of quit on our own, so to speak. We have to have that will, and I, I think I, I have it in me, the will. It's just, uh, like I said, I'm going to, my catalyst is going to be through vaping again, and, and, like I said, I have the plan of, of uh, getting a backup so I keep myself honest. Do you have a, another resolution? Because I have a couple more I could go rattle off. I don't know. I mean, like, the main, mainly the, my main focus is lose weight. I guess be a better person, but pff, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't... Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be way too much, way too focused on, like, getting ready for, the, like, these weddings. Because I know, like, I haven't talked to David and Tiffany yet, but I know I'm invited. <laughs> I'm, it's safe enough to say I, I am invited. Uh, Trey and Brianna, I'm working to try and get best man. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> don't get your hopes up. That's all no, I have to I know, say. Obviously, I know, it's I know. not your choice, but I'm and don't a get campaign. mad. You know, I'm, it's a nice campaign. It's not okay. a Trump campaign. It's not, I'm not dragging anyone <laughs> through the mud. You know? okay. But you know, I'm just saying. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a party girl. I'm a, I'm a good wedding. I'm a I'm good wedding best man. I'm sure you're probably inconsiderate, but don't get mad if you're not selected. I'm not going to get mad. I okay. Mean, don't be that person. No, cause... I'm not going to get mad about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to get selected for best man and all but, that. you know, yeah, yeah, I'm just... I'll, I'll be in the wedding party. I know that. But I, just, I want to be no, numero uno. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, if you're not, don't get mad. But it, it'll be okay. If I ever get married, you'll probably be my best man. Here's, so there's that. So Popping bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> um, all right. So another one of my resolutions, again, goes kind of back to the weight loss thing, is I want to do a majority of my grocery shopping when I go to the grocery store on yeah. the outside of the grocery store. They, uh, a lot of health, health, health people say if you do all your shopping, or at least majority of it, in the outside of it, you're bound to eat a lot more healthy. So, like you know, on the out, like the you know, the outside always has you know your your produce section, yeah. and then you have your meat and and things like that. You don't have to go into like the frozen food section or the the preservatives and things like that. So you're eating fresh vegetables, you're eating fresh meat, and all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also consume more fish. Uh, I don't eat enough fish, I think. And I, I didn't really like fish. I, I'm very, very particular with it. I do not, I absolutely loathe fried fish. I even hate oh, yeah, fried yeah. shrimp. I love fucking shrimp. Yeah, he loves I shrimp. hate fried shrimp. I fucking, it's disgusting to me. Because, like, I've only had, like, good fried shrimp once, and that was when we went to that restaurant, and that's, like, how they served it. Oh, yeah, And yeah, they yeah. really did a good job making it very flavorful, and it, the breading on it wasn't super thick. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the times when you order fried fucking shrimp, it's too much, either too much breading or not enough. And it usually doesn't have any sort of flavor to it. The shrimp completely loses its good texture and taste. So um, I'm very particular when it comes to certain fr fish, but I can definitely eat like grilled or, or um, uh, like like you can saute. Okay. Uh, I, I like that as long as it's, it's certain types of fish. Like um, if it's too 
I don't know how like rubbery. I'm not yeah. a big fan. Like kind of like the the squids and the octopuses. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the only kind of fish I, or seafood I actually don't mind fried is calamari. Oh yeah. Calamari fried is actually pretty fucking good. I'm sure it's not healthy, but yeah, um, good. I don't do a lot of frying anyways. Anytime I eat like fried food, particularly, is when I'm out, and that's one thing I'll probably try to tend to avoid. But I want to do a majority of my um, grocery shopping, like I said, on the outskirts. Yeah. Of the. Uh, of the of your grocery stores to to help me also try to lose a little bit of weight, um, you know. So, uh, <laughs> damn, I thought I had more fucking <laughs> resolutions than that. I mean, you you're stacking up, dude. You're gonna have a full year, like. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not gonna keep any of them. No, yeah, you just uh, just focus on the important ones. Well, I think like like I said, like if I if I set a, an agenda to the gym. Um, because I'll, I'll probably make in strides in there. I want to eat a little healthier to just notice change a little, little faster. So that's when I'll basically, they almost all go hand in hand to hand, you know, like, so I'm going to stop going to places with drive throughs and kind of do my grocery shopping on the outskirts of the, of the, uh, store. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, in turn by doing all those, I'll lose weight. And then I said like, um, smoking and going to the gym is never a good thing. Um, just cause you, you obviously lose a lot of cardio when it comes to that. So if I vape, it'll, it'll help me breathe a lot easier mm-hmm. when doing those sort of activities. So they almost all go hand in hand in hand. And then I got this channel on my moto vlogging channel, which is, that's a lot of work between both of them. Um, but I still think it's possible. It's one of those things too, is I kind of get away with, um, with certain things in my workplace. So if I'm ahead, I can kind of slack off a little bit, and and then that's when I'll I'll bust out my editor tool and and edit some videos for regardless of the channel as long as you know boss man's cool with it. Yeah. So um, typically, if I'm, I'm like one of the better employees. Yeah. And, well, you are the better employee. Uh, I think there's probably like one, uh, maybe two guys. Like, well, I, one guy for sure is ahead of me just because he's been there forever, and uh, okay. he, he always gets his job done. But at the same time, I always get my job done. Yeah. So, you know, I have a set amount of work ahead of me. Once that work is done, or at least on track to get done, it's okay to slack off a little bit. And, um, you know, as long as uh, we're being okay with it, we're not letting it consume us or get in the way of certain things. So, um, geez. All right, well, that's all I had to really talk about. Did you have anything else? Oh, uh, no, just, uh, you guys, I really appreciate the year. Um, you know, I've... If you've talked to me, if you've talked to us on Twitter, you're basically talking to me. I, I run the Twitter. She does run the Twitter. <laughs> uh, I'll see the comments on YouTube, though. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but but also like she goes and tells me all this stuff about uh, what happened on 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 the Twitters. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, today on the Twitter, da 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 da. <laughs> and I'm like, oh cool, you know. So it's like I always find out about it. I just I don't go to Twitter. I don't I don't do, I don't tweet. I don't do yeah. that. So it's, I. And it's, and it's, it's fine. I mean. I mean, it really, literally, it's filled with garbage. So you just <laughs> <laughs> not missing much. It's my kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, though. The, the whole Twitter idea is brilliant. <laughs> so like, you can kind of keep, uh, um, kind of in touch or see what your your favorite celebs or whatever the hell's doing. But yeah, it's a cool idea. Yeah. I just don't do it. So. But um, you know, I've, I've I've talked to a lot of uh, YouTubers on Twitter, and you know, when I made that goal for the new year, um, to have fifty subscribers. Um, and we were getting closer and closer. Uh, you guys really pulled together and retweeted that and, you know, made calls to actions to get us to 51. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I, I'm kind of springing this on you and yeah, thank you very much. I, I appreciate uh, it as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just remembered something. Oh, I, I'm bad with that. <laughs> um, I was thinking the other day, how would you like to set subscriber goals? Oh, well, I mean, I don't know, because I don't want to like get disappointed if we don't meet them. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not like certain times. What I'm what I'm referring to that is like when we hit certain subscribers, we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, actually sure. As long as it's, like nothing that's gonna like destroy my body. Because oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm 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 gonna be willing to be the catalyst for some, if not most, of these. Okay. All right. This is just me thinking out loud. This is nothing in concrete for anybody still listening. All right. Obviously, when we get to 100 subscribers, I want to do a giveaway. I want to do some sort of giveaway, whether it be a T-shirt or something like that, to one or two people or something like that. Um, and I don't mind going into my pocket for that. If you want to help out, that's cool yeah. too. You know. Um, but what I was thinking, like, is I know this is many eons away, but I had a cool idea, 
And if we get up to 100,000 subscribers, I'd be willing to do it. Granted, we'd probably need to pull some money together for it. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll get a full sleeve tattoo done of 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 parts of our thumbnails for our channel. Are you and right? I'll do a full sleeve of my Even right arm. Even the Beavis and Butthead one? Even the Beavis and Butthead one. Well, I'll take little tidbits out of... I'll, I'll contact a, a tattoo artist and I'll take little tidbits of a lot of our favorite thumbnails for video games we've done. Mm -hmm. And I'll have them make me a full sleeve. If we get to you know 100,000. how much 000, money that's going to cost you? It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably going to be at least five grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but again, like, it'd be something I'd be willing to do. Again, if, yeah, finances are okay around that time, which I would imagine, like, that's a realistic goal for, like, a good six, well, probably three to five years, somewhere between there. Yeah. Um, again, it's not, but if it, if it picks up and goes quick, that's cool, too. Um, but I'd be willing to do something like that too. And then we can like record it for the channel and shit like that. I was just, again, me spitballing, <laughs> but I'd be willing to do something like that. Cause I've always like, it was kind of funny. I was watching the weigh-ins for the new UFC that's on tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, and dude, like, so like even like Joe Rogan, there was a couple others had like really, really cool full arm slate, like full sleeve tattoos. And mm -hmm. I'm like, and I was like kind of looking to see what I could see of some designs. And, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, I always wanted a full sleeve tattoo, but what, what of what, like, what would I do? And it clicked. It was like, well, it, like I love the thumbnails Sasha does for the channel. If I take like little bits of each thumbnails, oh, yeah. or the, of my favorite ones or yeah, our favorite yeah. ones, we could definitely make a full sleeve tattoo, and it would look badass as fuck. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. If we hit a hundred thousand subscribers, and we get our play button from YouTube, and we oh, get yeah, our we play ha button from YouTube. We'll, we'll, it'll have to be like one whole episode of us getting yeah. our play button and going up to the tattoo shop. Well, obviously, the tattoo, though, isn't going to be done in one sitting. No, no. We'll do it in parts because it's but, cheaper that way anyway. And, you know. <laughs> no, it's obviously less stress yeah, on me. You can't sit through a whole entire one, dude. No, no, yeah, no. 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 You have to go and, do, <laughs> <laughs> go and do the, all the outlines for some yeah. of it and go back several days. And I have to go back for all the coloring and all that. Yeah. But I think that, I think that would look cool as fuck, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I know, think so. and, and probably by then, like I said, if it's like good three years from now, we'd probably have some even really cooler thumbnails. I'd like to add to it. Oh, that yeah. would be cool as fuck. So I don't know. Just uh, and, and not to mention though, like like I'd like to do other smaller subscriber goals, like you know, like little giveaways here and there to people that like our shows, and and eventually get to the point where, like I said, giving away video games. And yeah, I would. Like I that. definitely wouldn't mind giving away video games. You know, no. that would be great. You know, and, and yeah, not only that, like merch and other cool stuff. I'm going to just kind of give back, you know, sort yeah. of thing, if, if we get that big. But that's all I got to discuss on uh, this podcast. What about you? Do you want to mention anything else? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, thanks to you guys on Twitter. Um, right. You know, thanks to, uh, I don't know, pretty much everyone that I uh, that I normally I normally talk to. Thank you. <laughs> on there, you, know? you guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are we awesome. We love you. You know, and, uh, you know, Jake the Hawk just hit 100. Um, congrats yeah so congrats i think he's like 103 right now um but i forgot to congratulate you so uh congratulations uh jake the hawk uh congratulations uh chris otako <laughs> nice yeah. congrats dude that's 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 our Love first goal is get to 100 yeah i think yeah. it's beyond 100 now i think i mean i might be wrong oh yeah. well but, that's our that's our that's our current goal is get to 100, yeah, get to 100. Uh, you know. so thank thank you guys um it's been a great year um, it's going to be even better, uh, 2017, because this year was fucking horrible, so it can only go up from here. Um, well, not to mention, too, I mean, we were, we were figuring things out now. We were, yeah. like, we, we kind of had to go off of using kind of a crappier editor. Plus, when we first started, we were only using one microphone. Now we got oh, two. Yeah, we got two. We got an interface. Uh, we got a whole interface. Yeah. And, <laughs> like, we're, we're kind of definitely upgraded and ready for the new year. I can definitely tell by going through our more earlier videos to now they're way better <laughs> they're way better by a margin but i think that's part of it is we're just getting better at doing it now that we have a better editor and all that stuff i think just the channel itself is going to just continually get better yeah. which is gonna be great so and, uh but yeah. thanks for all the support guys yeah, thanks thanks for support and we'll see you we'll see you in the new year guys yeah this happy new year be in the new year right <laughs> Make some noise. Right, bye. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs>